Hi, this is Francis Necker with Terrius Research. I'm here with PJ from Qualcomm at the Snapdragon X Elite April update event. Nice little post, uh, post Easter uh, treat for us here in San Francisco. But uh, PJ is going to walk us through a couple of demos that they got uh, on AI workloads running on their NPUs and uh, how, how great a performance that they're getting. Go ahead, PJ. Absolutely, so come on in. Well, first thing we're gonna show you on our 45 Tops NPU is we're running OBS right now. It's a popular uh, broadcasting app by people who use YouTube TV shows, manages multiple cameras, and it streams to multiple platforms. And you can see we have an on-device neural network running, Whisper AI, and it's doing speech to text, real-time translation, and it can detect 100 different languages so that you can communicate with different audiences. You can bring your um, show to different countries and communicate with them. So if a YouTuber was, uh, was doing this right now, uh, oh, there's the MPU. Yeah, and you can see it's truly running on our MPU. We've been working with a ton of developers. When these devices launch in the second half of 2024, you're going to see a lot of new apps with NPU features. So if a YouTuber was doing this right now, uh, will the text to speech or the speech to text be could be could it be doing real time translation as well? Yeah, real time translation into uh, we can detect a hundred different languages and spit it into a hundred different languages. Perfect. Oh, apologies. Right now we're English only. Okay. So yeah, so we could detect 100 into different languages into, into English. English. Okay, yeah, so exactly. if the YouTuber was speaking Italian, they yeah. could do English subtitles. And you can actually import your videos into it. So if there was uh, a video from someone else speaking another language, and you want to understand what they're saying, you can bring it in here. Okay, and you can understand perfect. that. Cool. Cool. So next up, we're going to show, um, actually, let's show, div uh, we're going to show real time, actually not real time, but music generation. So we're, this is Audacity. It's the world's most popular um, audio editing app. And so we just showed you um, speech to text. Now we're going to show you text to music. So if we have country music fans out there, we're going to type in, uh, let's say, country music with a guitar solo. So typically in the past, um, it would have taken minutes to generate something like this. But for the 45 Tops NPU that's inside of Snapdragon X Elite, it generates um, a few seconds of music in just a few seconds. So again, something running on the NPU. So we have um, audio, we have audio creation. We also have video editing. So with the NPU, not only are you gonna see wild new features, but also features that are available today, they're going to be um, replacing their legacy computer vision algorithms with neural networks to get a performance boost as well as power savings. So in this demo, we have DaVinci Resolve. They have a popular feature called Magic Mask. And that was a neural network that just ran and identified this person. And so now we can make effects happen to just that person or just the background. But we want to scan her over the course of 23 seconds worth of video. So on our competitor's device, this function would take, would, can only run at about two frames per second. You can see here we get between seven, eight frames per second. So um, scanning 23 seconds only takes about a little more than a minute. Where on a competitor, it could take about five minutes. And thank you, Chris. You can see here it's truly running on our NPU. And, uh, and for that kind of a performance uplift, what is there a power cost or are you guys even delivering that kind of performance uplift? You're actually totally still below the power consumption. Absolutely. You're going to get power savings because the um, neural networks are even more efficient. Uh, Microsoft found that with one of their features, Windows Studio Effects, if they were to run the same neural networks on the CPU, it'd use like 20 watts of power. When they threw it on the NPU, because of its architecture designed for neural networks, it uses uh, about 0.1 watt. And these kinds of models that we've been talking about, how much storage and, and RAM are they using running on device? Yeah, absolutely. So I think these models have 16 to 32 gigs of, of RAM. However, uh, the neural networks are tiny. Uh, I don't know exactly how large uh, DaVinci's neural network is, but the app itself is not significantly larger with neural networks. What about for the, the music one? Uh, does anyone know the size of the, the I, I would imagine it's megabytes, not, we're not talking gigabytes. 
Okay. So it's at least it's that, that range. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Very These cool. are, that's, that's the breakthrough of neural networks is yeah. that they're, they're tiny. I would also, uh, so we showed you music, we showed you movies, we showed you uh, audio. Uh, now we're going to show you code generation. So right now we have, um, we're running VS Code software developer kit, and it has on device a neural network from CodeGen. And so here we prompted it, write a heap sort algorithm in Java. And we're going to go ahead, and it's now going to generate a day's, what would have kind of taken, you know, could be a day's worth of coding in just a matter of seconds. So we could generate code. We can actually paste in code and ask it to debug it as well. What about any kind of uh, uh, inline commentary or as you're trying to document your code, are you guys able to do that as well? Yeah, uh, it, it contextually understands the code, so it should be able to understand the comments as well. Okay. What if you have like legacy code that you know it was like twenty years ago? It was written. the The person that wrote it is no longer around, and you're trying to figure out what it does. Can you suck it in here, and then the Gen AI model can figure it out? You know what? That's a good question, but uh, we're gonna have to wait and see, and okay. we're gonna have to. You know what? Send us the code, and we'll find out. <laughs> that would we'll be a, that would be a cool feature. Yeah, you know, you know, like, software, how does this thing work? Yeah. software developers don't like commenting, right. and uh, and half the time when they're gone, like, yeah. they're trying to figure out what does this code do? Do I even still need it? So totally, very cool. Yeah. So those are those are all the NPU th um, powered features we're showing off today on the forty five tops NPU. It's the world's fastest NPU designed for laptops. We do have one more treat for you. It's not NPU related. Don't tell anyone I showed you this. <laughs> Let's play some video games. All right, here we go. We have Red Out 2. Let's see how I do. All right, so this is a popular game for uh, Windows. Um, and as you can see here, we've got some really fast graphics going on. We've got it paired to our controller. I'm not going to lie. i got to get a lot better at this game. And is this running on the GPU or? Uh, I be, you know what? I got to double check. I'm not sure if it's, but I would imagine some part of it is running on, oh, I'm being told absolutely it is running on the GPU. And again, this is on the x -Elite that was just announced at Snapdragon Summit last year, right? Exactly. And it'll be in market in the second half of 2024. Made it. Very cool. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good performance. And I know you guys aren't, you know, necessarily positioning these as gaming laptops, but you know, since since it's capable of doing it, might as well use it for that, right? Yeah, absolutely. We expect that most people just want great performance, great battery life, um, amazing new AI features to help them with productivity. But we just want to make sure that people know, like, yeah, it's it's an app. It can play. It can install apps. You can play a game. Awesome. Have fun. Cool. So, uh, so just to kind of wrap up, this is an app update event for Snapdragon X Elite. Um, you know, how much of this was new versus, ver or maybe upgraded versus what was announced? You know, last uh, last uh, end of last year. Yeah, a hundred percent. So, actually, all of these app experiences are new. So, when we showed X Elite um, back in November, it was the announcement. It was our intentions to bring the chips. We had brought these prototype laptops to market. But now, in the past uh, couple of months that has since happened. We've reached out to our uh, Windows apps friends, our developers, we've been working tightly with Microsoft, and we've been uh, having developers tap into the NPU to show some exciting experiences that are coming to market. Also, we gave you a little peek of how these compare to our competitors that have um, been announced since Snapdragon and X Elite hit the market. So we wanted to give you guys an update on that as well. Awesome. And so you can see X Elite is still the, this brand new Orion CPU is still the performance per watt leader. So you're going to get awesome performance, awesome battery life. So just a little teaser, what's ne what's, what, sh what should we expect next? I know you probably can't say too much, but uh, No, I'll tell you right here. Next? So you're going to find out what's next. It's on the, no, just kidding. Nope, stay tuned. But we'll have actually uh, a lot more uh, events and interesting, fun stuff that is going to happen along the way before these are commercially in the market. You're going to hear a lot more fun events and news coming soon. Perfect. Thanks, PJ. Awesome. Thank you, guys.